so the tone of voice of the painting um it would sort of sound like it's direct because it's again telling the male counterparts that women can be powerful too so it's like being direct and showing that you know we can um show a sense of power and when we show a sense of power we can do it well so something that we can see very clearly is the kind of aura of control that she exudes in the painting. So can you think of a similar modern example um, in social media that we can see a similar idea or concept? On the surface level, we can use social media, we can take selfies, we can curate Instagram and curate our, uh, our Twitter stream. That's really interesting to think about portraits not in the pictorial frame but also in a different dimension as well. A lot of things can influence how we portray ourselves, such as our interests, our hobbies, um, our family dynamics, our gender presentations. Well, I like to express my personal identity through art. So a lot of the time I quite, I quite like to draw. We can also alter our physical images through um, camera angles, lighting, um, makeup, filters. I think people express their personal identities using like social media and talking to other people to really kind of like bring an image of what they like the most about themselves. I think one of the most important things about portraits in the 21st century is the ability to keep changing yourself and I think we live in a moment where people are continually reinventing themselves. We talked about this painting that what was important about it was the sitter and the person who commissioned it whereas now I think the artists themselves and we think a lot about if you think about a self-portrait that's often about an artist reinventing themselves and presenting themselves and artists like Frida Kahlo or Cindy Sherman are kind of brilliant at that and then kind of um, performative artists like Janelle Monet or Beyonce are brilliant at kind of taking an image and just embodying it and becoming it and reinventing themselves so I think reinvention is absolutely key but I still think you know there are moments where images can be completely arresting um, and packed with symbolism. So the best one that I can think of is to think of Stormzy at, at Glastonbury and how that was a very particular political, social moment and that is someone who has a platform and is using that platform. And that he stood on that platform and he had the black bulletproof vest with the Banksy Black Union Jack and I think that image just ricocheted around the world. And so there's the construction within the image, but there's also, and I think that kind of links to a portrait like this, is understanding when you have power and when you have a platform to project your image. We have been thinking about this question and the themes we've been looking at so far for our own self-portraits. My name is Baba and I'm here to talk about my response to the Armada portrait. I wanted it to be as close of a parallel to the original as possible. So I used a picture where I felt the most confident, which was one of my selfies that I took on my birthday. Um, and I actually incorporated a lot of things that I see are um, as important to my identity. Um, I chose purple as the border for this painting because it is a royal and historically regal colour. On the sides of the borders, I used symbols that are found in my homeland of Ghana. So these are actually symbols belonging to the Adinkra tribe. And each of these symbols represent a virtue or... Um, a way of life within the Ghanaian people. My portrait um, really is similar to the Amada portrait in terms of symbolism. I've added some objects which relate to who I am, just like Elizabeth did. The whole concept of my portrait 
is based on a lesson I used to do with my now late granddad. Um, it was called Four Friends and, a, and an Enemy. So for me, my enemy is a mirror um, because of how I look at myself. I see a lot of imperfections. And my four friends are my glasses to um, represent like vision and how I can't see without them. Um, my guitar, because music has done quite a lot for me. It's helped me to manage through quite hard times. A book, which is how I spend most of my time. And um, obviously the mirror is in the other half of this painting. And um, in the part where the mirror is, um, we can see that most of these objects look completely different to how they look up here, how they're perceived to really represent again how I see myself. As you can see, there are a couple squares here, and each of these are an album cover that I decided to incorporate into my painting also. Each of these are different albums um, that represent how music has influenced and also changed my life. The Armada portrait is really powerful as it talks without saying very much at all, which is what all art is supposed to do, to be honest. And I feel like my portrait parallels with the Armada portrait in a sense that my pose is very confident and striking, as with um, Elizabeth in her pose as well. There are a wide range of topics which spring from this painting, even hundreds of years after it was painted. Images around us every day are loaded with meaning and hidden messages. But what is important to you?